Welcome to my night routine. I'm already feeling sleepy after my knock me out drink. It really does relax me and knocks me out. It is the best drink ever. If you have a hard time winding down or staying asleep or just kind of calming your mind at the end of the day, it's such a good drink. If you can't tell, I feel like extremely relaxed right now. I have my mineral tea on for tomorrow. I always like to write out my to-do list for the next day. There's actually been research that shows that, that is very helpful to calm down your mind before you go to sleep. So if you find your mind is racing and you just kind of have a lot going on in your mind, it's really helpful to write it down and actually use a pen to paper. I'm about to do my castor oil pack right now and I really like doing castor oil packs pretty much all of the time except for during your menstrual cycle. I like using them in my follicular phase, my luteal phase. What I usually do is I'll do my castor oil pack, I'll watch my shows with Bo, and then I actually get in the shower and kind of rinse everything off. Sometimes I will sleep with them on, but lately I haven't been doing that. You can really do whatever you want. You can wear them for a couple hours and then like me, just shower it off or you can wear them overnight. It just depends on whatever you wanna do. All that being said, let's do our casserole pack. before too so I'm gonna talk to you a little bit more tomorrow about how to really unwind if I literally was the person I could never fall asleep at night I couldn't go to sleep I could not unwind and I couldn't stay asleep either I've learned a lot about staying asleep throughout the night we'll talk about that tomorrow but I'm just gonna show you I'm just gonna show you the rest of my night routine I just did my castor oil pack which that is also so relaxing the warm compress it's so it really is such a good way to unwind it's so nice to have that hot compress and just like snuggle with it and i'm gonna do my skincare and my body care thing is you know when it comes to hormone balancing i think a lot of the times we're just like health in general it can be really easy to just think of food nutrition focus on obviously what we're eating but we're trying to balance our hormones it's so important <gasps> something i switched over two years ago is really just swapping out my products because you know with hair makeup skincare body care all that kind of stuff our environment really even how i make my candles you know that i make my homemade candles because i just make them from coconut oil and beeswax and i found really a lot of joy and fun in creating just an environment that is nourishing to my body. And if we're just focusing on nutrition, but we're not focusing on our environment or literally what we're putting on our skin, if you think about it, like your blood is the highway for your hormones. And therefore, if you are putting on a product to your skin that is an endocrine disruptor, like phthalates or synthetic fragrance, things like that, known potent endocrine disruptors it can kind of be like you know trying to swim upstream if we're trying to you know nourish and really focus on diet and everything like that but if we're leaving out such a huge component if you're really trying to balance your hormones now that being said i know it can be super overwhelming but what i will say is i think the one thing that you can do where i would start is skincare and body care like what you're actually putting on your skin because again the our blood if you think about it like a highway because it really is our blood is the highway for our hormones and so if we think about it and we're putting something onto our skin and it's absorbing directly obviously into our bloodstream but if we think about it like 
a, a traffic jam, if you will. Switching to products that simply don't have synthetic fragrance, that don't have sodium laurel sulfate, everything like that. I just like to think of it as like, you wanna keep traffic moving and flowing. And if you're using products that are disrupting your hormones and using endocrine disrupting, and they have endocrine disrupting chemicals in there, then it's going to disrupt the flow of traffic. We wanna be eating a nutrient dense diet and then we don't wanna be putting anything obviously to the best of our ability. Again, I always say everything in love. We can't avoid it, we don't live in a perfect world, but something that I really do like to be mindful of is my skin and what I put on my skin and making sure that it's clean. But I follow this doctor, her name is Dr. Melissa Gallagher and she is a women, she really specializes in women's hormones, specifically women's breast breast health and she was talking about a bunch of her favorite clean products and she specifically mentioned Osea Malibu they are a clean skincare company that uses seaweed and totally clean ingredients no synthetic fragrance no sodium laurel sulfate I mean all the list of all the things none of those in there I mean and she is somebody that I really trust and I really I just really love her a lot and so when she said that she loved their moisturizer and she was talking about how the seaweed is very very rich in b vitamins and iron and just a bunch of minerals that our skin loves everything that she said about the moisturizer is true this is their andaria algae body butter so the andaria algae or seaweed is that's what contains all those incredible compounds. The seaweed provides barrier protection, which is really amazing. Our skin barrier, which is incredible. It also has ceramides in it, which is actually fatty acids. And those are very important for our cellular membranes. And the fact that one of my favorite doctors ever said that it was her favorite and she's obsessed with it, I was like, I'm, I'm sold. You know what this is? This is the superstar of the clean skincare world. Don't even get me started on the body oil, okay? Because the body oil is just another level of amazingness and I love it. Oh, the texture of this is just, it's like a whipped butter. Oh my gosh, and the smell, it is, I'm super picky about the smell. And that's the thing, they only use essential oil fragrance. Consider this your sign if you are doing all the things with your nutrition, but you haven't switched over to clean body care and skin care. We wanna keep the flow of traffic in our blood. We wanna keep the highway nice and happy. Cambria Joy is gonna get you 10% off of your order at Osea. They're the best. I'm gonna link it in the description box. And let me tell you, I have been there. There's nothing worse than switching over to clean and being like, this doesn't work. I don't like it, you know, or it's just like, not up to the expectations that you had that's what makes switching hard you need to be able to find a product that really is good and works well because there's no don't don't get me started on clean deodorant that's a whole different conversation but let me just say that i have been there when it comes to switching over to clean products nevertheless this is it your search ends here this is my favorite i'm gonna moisturize the rest of my body Well, it is the next day. The sheets are all getting washed today, a nice fresh wash. I used to have the biggest, hardest time falling asleep. Like honestly, I felt like for years, I was like, I don't know if I'm ever even gonna be able to fall asleep. <laughs> I just wanted to kind of share with you what I've done. Really in the past year, that's really helped me to fall and stay asleep. So the first thing, let's talk about falling asleep first because that's the thing. We gotta fall asleep first before we can even stay asleep. So first of all, the biggest thing that I have done and that I have changed is intentionally doing something that is fun at the end of the day, like actually pursuing laughter, watching a funny show, 
talking with Bo, laughing, 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 like seeking out laughter. I used to, what I realized is I used to not be able to shut off my brain at night. My brain would just be going. I'm very creative. I have a lot of ideas swirling around in my head all the time. I'm always thinking of something. I'm so excited about everything all the time. And it really made it hard for me to sleep. And so I found that at the end of the day, I just, you know, setting that time of like after dinner, I'm done. I'm shutting off. I am winding down. I am just doing something for the sake of fun. That is the end result is fun. And then my last little tip for staying asleep is to regulate your blood sugar throughout the day. This is the key. If you are waking up in the middle of the night, because I used to wake up in the middle of this is something I'm still working on right now. <sighs> anyway, without going into all of that with and pathogens, protecting the cell, that's a whole nother conversation, but balancing your blood sugar is the key if you are waking up in the middle of the night and you are having like those two, 3 a.m. wake ups, balancing your blood sugar throughout the day, specifically eating enough protein and carbohydrate and fat all throughout the day because how your day goes is how your night is going to be set up. And if you're waking up in the middle of the night to go pee, it can be so frustrating to just want to fall asleep and go into a really deep sleep and then you wake up or you wake up multiple times throughout the night. Literally, there's nothing just more, I, I know that feeling where you wake up and you can't fall back asleep and the biggest thing that has changed my life is regulating my blood sugar and regulating your blood sugar and making sure that you're getting enough. I say 30 grams of protein at every meal and at least 30 grams of fiber every single day is so important for blood sugar regulation. Also, the knock me out milk is amazing for blood sugar regulation because it has protein, it has fats, it has carbohydrates, but it also has inositol, which is very amazing at regulating your blood sugar, and glycine, which is an amino acid, very supportive to the liver, which is what we want to do to support blood sugar regulation. Our liver is so foundational for that. So we're supporting liver, we're supporting blood sugar regulation, we're supporting everything. But I hope that you enjoyed. That really is such a realistic night routine. That's really what my nights look like is doing a castor oil pack, making my mineral tea, unwinding, relaxing while I use my castor oil pack, and then going into doing my full skincare for my face and my body. That has really been very luxurious too. I'm obsessed with the smell of the OC a moisturizer and it makes my skin feel so amazing i oh i just cannot explain how much i love it if you are really wanting to focus on balancing your hormones to just reminding you and even my little candle i like my beeswax candle hope that was helpful for you too just as a reminder when it comes to our hormone health just how big of an impact that our environment makes and it's really not about being perfect but for me it's just about being mindful and there's something that just Oh, there's something that feels so amazing when you find a really good clean product that works and that you love. You know, if we're really trying to focus on hormonal balance, remembering that the blood is the highway for our hormones and what we eat affects that, but also what we put on our skin. The largest organ is going to also have a major impact that is getting absorbed right into our bloodstream and that is going to have a direct impact on our hormones. So let's keep the highway flowing. Let's keep it traffic free, if you will. Mineral tea recipes in the description. All the things are in the description. So I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.